One of the more frequent questions I get from folks is, how do I monetize my stories? Well, there are countless ways, and I want to share some of these in the next few videos with you. Now, when I say monetize, it doesn't mean people immediately see the story and they're giving you their credit card number or sending you a check. It means it's opening the door to a money-making opportunity. First example for you is to use it in your email signature, a very short story. Uh, for example, one that I used in the past to great success, and I rotate them in and out, by the way. I don't use the same one all the time. They get stale. But uh, this one was, Jason was so excited, he got accepted to give a TEDx talk. He had all of his material. He had his prop, but he had a big problem. The story wasn't making sense. And when he shared the longer version, people were confused. So he brought me in to consult with him. We created a much more logical, emotional story. And to date, four years after his talk, he's had over 3 million hits. That's not a long story. It goes right at the end of the email signature. People reading that may think, well, especially if they're TEDx uh, speakers, wow, I'd like to talk to Michael because I'd like to get a lot of views too. So that's one way you can use a story in your email to attract attention, to open the door for people to talk with you. Speaking of talking with you, if you would like to have a conversation with me to discuss your storytelling, any presentation challenges you have, let's just set up a short 20 to 30 minute call. Happy to talk with you, no cost, no obligation, no hard sales pitch, I promise. Just a way to answer some of these questions for you. If you'd like to do that, click on the link below this video. And then the next tip, we'll talk about using stories in short videos that you can send out to prospective clients.